So any patient who's had a history of an injury can get post-traumatic arthritis. Um, and I think the one that's easiest to discuss is the knee. So uh, patients who have a history of an ACL reconstruction uh, or who've had some meniscal surgery, they're much more likely over their lifetime to develop post-traumatic arthritis. Um, and that's something to keep in mind, particularly with our younger patients who've had surgery, you know, say in their teens or 20s, they can present with post-traumatic arthritis sometimes in their 20s and 30s. And so that can have a big impact on their life. Well, it's a problem because uh, the joint pain and swelling can really impact the, uh, the patient's ability to work sometimes, um, but certainly their ability to do the things that they like, so they may not be able to play their sports. And it's a really big problem because um, they're often very young and that they're at a time of their life when sport and activity is, is very important for them. Uh, and I guess the final thing is it can be very, very difficult to treat. So in general terms, more surgery is, is not the answer. Um, and rehabilitation, education, and focusing on improving the knee symptoms and function is the way to go. I think it's really important to stress to the patient that there are lots of things that can be done. So sometimes the perception that they get is that there's not an operation for them, um, that they have to wait 10 or 20 years to be bad enough to need knee replacement. But the reality is that there are a lot of things that we can be doing. Um, maintaining our activity is important. Um, and sometimes that's their normal activity, they just need a period where we unload them uh, to allow their knee or their joint to catch up. Um, there are a range of different injection therapies that can be helpful um, at, to improve pain and reduce swelling. Um, and that it's important to say that that's an adjuvant to uh, their treatment. Uh, managing their weight and other lifestyle factors is important, but I think the critical intervention is a good quality education and explaining to the patient that they may need to do things to manage their knee over their lifetime um, and, and, and making sure that they understand that this is a lifelong condition that just needs some attention. It doesn't need to impact their uh, life and it doesn't need to necessarily change what they do, but they do need to look after their joint.